Hey everybody, it's the Board Game Blogger. Today, I'm going to do something a little different, move out of board games, and I'm going to review my top five comic series. And, uh, not individual comics, but sort of the series as a whole. So, number five. Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck, uh, done by Don Rosa. I think Don Rosa is probably the second, you know, best, uh, duck artist after uh, Karl Barks and uh, what he does here is sort of goes through a, a life and times journeying through Scrooge's uh, life from early childhood into old age and using bits of pieces that the Karl Barks stories have referenced. Uh, he has good encounters with famous people such as Teddy Roosevelt and it's just well done, uh, it's drawn well, and uh, just from an exciting adventure comic, uh, it ran 12 series, uh, collected in uh, different trade paperbacks, and it's an excellent, excellent series. Uh, Don Rosa writes detailed stories, tries to get the history right, um, and uh, is good at uh, the actual graphics. Number four is uh, Gil Jordan, uh, Private Detective. What I like it here is, of course, there's a red-headed uh, main character. You've got uh, Inspector Crouton here. He's sort of the uh, not quite dim-witted detective, but uh, is actually helpful and insightful to uh, the private investigator Gil Jordan. Gil Jordan also has his... Uh, you know, right-hand man, uh, Cracker Jack here, who is more of the, the comedic character. You've got good comedy, and you've got sort of exciting stories, and it's it's just well done. Got uh, number three is uh, Star Trek uh, Early Voyages. This. It was uh, put up by Marvel in the early 90s. It's been sort of reprinted in an omnibus collection by IDW. And what is done here is they take the characters from the original series episode, The Cage, sort of the original pilot for Star Trek. has Spock in it, but everyone else is different. Different captain, different engineer, different doctor. And this takes place sort of prior to... Uh, Kirk and the rest of the crew. Is, um, what I find interesting here is it's it's well done. It's, you take sort of uh, Spock, this well-known character, you have to keep him in with his persona that's done in the series and sort of develop it, expand it, and you've got room to add brand new stories with brand new characters and you don't have to stick too much to canon besides the Spock character. I think it's well done. Um, it would even be higher up, I think, but for the fact the series sort of ends midstream. And some of the the uh, graphics can vary. You've got some guest pencilers who, you know, it really varies wildly in the, the look of the series. Um, but it's well done. Uh, if you're a Star Trek fan out there, I'd try and pick this one up. Number two is uh, Tintin. A uh, great series, again, a red-headed uh, character. I've got to love that, don't I? Um, but it's just really exciting adventure stories. You know, well well written, well drawn, and just interesting characters. You've got interesting reoccurring characters uh, like Captain Haddock, Inspector Calculus. There's the comedic foils of the, the Thompson uh, and Thompson. And it's just got everything. It's got the comedy, it's got the adventure, the mystery, excitement. Well done. Um, good job by Harris. And finally, my number one comic of all time is Blake and Mortimer. Uh, this is a wonderful series, and you've got Mortimer here. Not only is he red-headed, but he's got a beard. So I've got to love that. It's definitely the best character in all of comicdom. Um, but what's interesting here is you've got uh, Mortimer. He is this sort of uh, scientist-type character. You've got uh, Blake, who works for military intelligence, and they're out solving various mysteries on sort of high adventure, very similar to the Tintin uh, comics. Um, but this series, however, is still being made, still being worked on. The original creator, Edgar P. Jacobs, has passed away, and it sort of branched off into two new 
uh, artists and writing groups working on it. I think one is better than the other. Uh, one of the new groups, I think it's just too fantastic. There's something of the fantastic in both Tintin and Blake and Mortimer. One, I think, sort of divulges off. But the original Edgar P. Jacobs, I think, is the best series, best comic. You've just got this sense of wonder, sense of excitement. You've got sort of a main reoccurring villain. Um, and you've got some other, you know, reoccurring minor characters like uh, the loyal manservant. But excellent art, really intriguing stories, um, well written. It's a story well written, well told. Um, Blake and Mortimer, definitely the best comic series out there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed uh, sort of what I find interesting in the comic field. Anyway, till next time, I'm the Board Game Blogger.